Hello everyone. Let us today start the topic called hypothesis testing. And in hypothesis testing, we will be learning Z test, D test, and <laughs> chi square test. Let's just start the testing procedure. Now Z test. Let us uh, in Z test what we see that we have to see the sample size. If n is greater than thirty, we called is we called it as large population. N greater than thirty, we called it as large population. And for large population, the Z test calculation or the test statistics formula it is given by Z equals to x bar minus mu divided by sigma o by root n. Now here test statistics z equals to x bar. X bar is your sample mean, mu is the population mean, sigma is standard deviation, and n is the sample size. And this whole denominator term is also known as standard error. Standard error. Now, in calculating z value, will after calculation of z value, z calculated, we found something, and then. At the given given level level of significance that is alpha, let us assume alpha to be five percent. We'll see the table of value of for z that is normal distribution table for z, and we'll find the z critical value, z critical value using the table value. Suppose it founds to be like y. Now in that now we'll compare whether the z z calculated value which we have calculated. And between Z table or critical value. In our comparison, if we found that Z calculated value is less than Z critical value, then we will accept the hypothesis. Hypothesis. Whatever hypothesis H null hypothesis we have assumed mu equals to mu naught. Whatever we have assumed that would be accepted in the case when Z calculated value is less than Z critical value. In the case of Z test. Z test, remember, it it is it takes place when the sample size is greater than thirty. In some other books, we may also uh, find that the decision upon taking Z test and test T test depends upon whether the standard deviation is given or not. If standard deviation is given, we go for Z test. If standard deviation is not given, we consider it for a T test. T test. Now let's come for T test. Come to now here the uh, assumption is that when the sample size n is Less than thirty, then we call it as a small population. Small population, and we go for a t test. In the t test, the test statistic is calculated using the formula same x bar minus mu divided by s by root n. Friends, the only difference between the two formula is this. Here in uh, t test, the standard deviation is. Replaced with sample standard deviation. S is called the sample standard deviation. Similarly, we'll calculate the t calculated value using the above formula, and whatever it comes to be, we'll see the t test at the level of at, at the level of significance, like like assume 0.5 percent, 0.05 percent, yeah, 5 percent, alpha at 0.05, and degree of freedom. There is another concept called degree of freedom. And in t test, degree of freedom is given by n minus one. That is number of sample, yeah, sample size minus one. So we'll t see the t table with the degree of freedom n minus one and level of significance 0.05. We'll find the t critical value or t table value, whatever you may call it. Like t critical value, whatever you have got. Now we have to compare. Between t calculated value and t critical value. After comparison, if we found the relationship be between the two is this, that is t calculated is less than t critical, we'll assume whatever we have assumed the null hypothesis that would be accepted. Now let us come to the chi square table or chi square test. In chi square test, there is nothing. Population, no sample, nothing like that is given. The chi test, chi test, chi square test is also called called the test of goodness, test of good fit. Test of good fit. 
in this you have to compare between the two parameters and we have to come to the conclusion whether the first is impacted whether first is uh, uh, you have to compare between the two parameters and you have to conclude whether the first depends upon the second is there any relationship between the two or they are independent in this chi-square test you will basically come across two types of question what one would be in the form of matrix and another would be the linear problem linear question uh, let, us, let us discuss the matrix problem how to solve a matrix kind of a problem like for a matrix problem you would be given a matrix of 2 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 or 3 by 4 any matrix you, you can might be given you have to the matrix the value inside the matrix is called the observed frequency observed frequency and the values you have to calculate is called the expected frequency expected frequency how to calculate of the expected frequency with the help of observed frequency let us uh, see with a given example let us get a two by two matrix is given where it is the matrix elements frequency are two four five and six you have to calculate the row column uh, row total and column total this is the column total and this is the row total the row total comes to be around 4 plus 2 6 here 6 plus 5 11 here this side 5 plus 2 7 6 plus 4 10 okay now you have to see the expected frequency formula is e is equals to e11 equals to you have to see the observed frequency rotate row total 6 into the corresponding column total 7 divided by total number of elements here 6 plus 11 is 17 here also 17 divided by 17 that is the expected frequency formula is equals to row total into column total divided by total number of frequencies r into c by n similarly if you will have to calculate after calculation of of the expected frequency you will have to take the difference because the formula for calculating chi square test is x i square is equal to it is a summation of observed frequency minus expected frequency whole square divided by expected frequency the summation of whole this whole thing comes to be around chi square calculated value after calculation of chi square calculation calculated value you would compute the chi square table value or the chi square critical value from the table after seeing the table at degree of freedom uh, here the degree of freedom you have to calculate by the formula r minus 1 into c minus 1 where is r is the number of row and c is the number of column in my example 2 by 2 matrix the row is 2 column is 2 so my degree of freedom comes to comes around 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1 that is 1 and my level of significance alpha I have assumed 5% that is at 0 0.05 you would find the chi square table value or the critical value from the table at degree of freedom 1 and level of significance 5% which would be something like 11 I assume or something whatever then you will after this you would compute uh, compare the chi square calculated value with the chi square table value or the critical value if the relation between the two comes to be this that is chi square calculated is less than chi square table then whatever hypothesis null hypothesis you have assumed mu equals to mu naught whatever that would be accepted also friend remember this uh, how uh, this formula would come to you handy if you just remember that there is a similarity between all the three tests and that similarity is in all the three tests the z calculated the t calculated and the chi square calculated if that value is smaller than the z critical value or table value or t critical value or chi square table or critical value then in all the three cases the acceptance is same if the value calculated value comes to be less than critical value or the table value we have to accept the hypothesis 
in all the above three cases. Hope this finds you useful. Keep sharing. Thank you.